Hello gamers! Welcome to episode 2 of my Let's Play series for Airships Conquer the Skies. Uh, in episode 1, we conquered the YS faction, which was located uh, to the southeast of us, south-southeast of us. Uh, as a result of our war with YS, we also went to war against its defensive pact partner, Altenzal, which is directly to the north of us here. Um, we also sent an ultimatum demanding tribute and threatening war to the Korak faction, which you'll notice right here, uh, which has, as I recall, a 74% chance of success. So we're going to see if uh, that comes up uh, roses for us or whether we'll have to declare war on Korak. Um, but I'm not going to worry about that now. If we have to go to war with Korak, then that's what we have to do. Um, as I look at the map now, I think to myself, well, what can we do? I would like uh, uh, to take out the bandits here um, because it is affecting, I believe, uh, our income from YS. Um, in addition to that, uh, I think I sent the, let's see, did I send? No, so the Pale Mare is still here. We've got to redesign uh, the Pale Mare, which I think will be another episode, uh, maybe the next one, uh, where we'll just do a complete refit and we'll do a, a sort of a refit, refit tutorial on what I like to do uh, when uh, refitting the beginner design uh, of a ship. Um, and we've got the Revenge headed to the Turtle Doves um, to uh, pick up or to eliminate that monster nest there. Uh, the turtle doves are pretty easy, and they'll take pretty, make pretty short work of them. Uh, in the meantime, uh, it looks like our spy is active here in New York. <laughs> like New York, but New York. Uh, I wonder if we can actually see what ships they have. So, uh, looks like, let's see, their service ceiling is 213. Pretty high, but you know what? That's still lower than my, uh, lower than the... The boomers ceiling which is 287 so we could uh, I think we can definitely take this very easily the challenger though is significantly more dangerous to us in the sense that uh, it's got a service ceiling of 336 uh, and it has probably grenadiers I think this these are grenadiers here um, it's still a pretty relative this is actually a pretty nice ship that I like um, it's got a super high so this is a ship that we might not be able to do much against. Um, and so what I might do uh, is send our rooster or the boomer in to see if we can, you know, really do heavy damage against this suture um, while um, avoiding the damage from the uh, challenger. <clears throat> I don't know. It's a, it's a high risk mission though. Um, we are pretty fast and we, uh, I think we can uh, do something there. Um, let's also look at the defenses. I'm not sure if they actually have uh, any um, defenses. This has, oh, it's a nice trade hub, which is interesting. Let's view the city. So their defenses are mostly muskets here. Not a whole lot, aren't going to be too dangerous to us. And um, But I think what we might do is send the boomer up to here, um, do as much damage as it can, and then come back. Um, let's see. We could take out the bandits as well. Hmm. 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 The rooster will be ready pretty soon, and they could take out the bandits fairly soon. So let's unpause for now. Uh, we'll let the boomer. All right. So let's see. Korak has defied our ultimatum. Must respond. All right. I guess we have to enforce the threat. Enforce threat. We're going to war. Oh, how come we lost? Uh, let's see. Our freight. Espionage defense. One point X gentle city takeover. Trust you less and be more likely to attack you. Hmm. What happened there? All right. Well, looks like we've got uh, we're gonna have uh, some issues uh, 
and it has we're, we're disliked learn something new I wasn't expecting us to suddenly uh, have a, a huge rep loss if you can educate me as to how the the rep loss worked there probably because we are going to war and um, we lose some rep there but I'm not entirely sure uh, why our rep just took a di nose dive like that but uh, anyhow we'll just keep going all right let's see uh, we're gonna go ahead and send the rooster can we send the rooster yet not yet let's go ahead and send the boomer over and see if we can do a little damage oh hmm canceled Oh, this is now Rodino. Interesting. So Rodino took over Altenzals, and so now we have this war with just Altenzal. Do they even have any ships in Altenzal? Oh, I guess Rodino took over. Oh, Rodino conquers New York. So, all right. Uh, hmm. Altenzal, I think, is undefended. I wonder if I should try to send our. That is a long way, though. That is a long way. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see if we can. Oh, wait. What happened here? We're at war with, I guess they were, let's see. Oh, they had a defensive pack with Korak and Rodino. Okay. So that's that's the reason why we, uh, we basically took this huge rep loss. Because Dagger Guild, and I probably should have checked. I should have checked to see before making the threat that uh, they didn't have a defensive pact. All right lesson learned <laughs> have to check whether or not uh we have a defensive pack with someone bef uh, or we have a mutual defensive pack partner before threatening someone so uh, that is a lesson that we have learned uh, in this episode all right well i'm pause uh, i'm thinking about whether to attack alton's all and let me see what we're what are we building are we building anything Let's see. So our capital is right here. We've got the Pale Mare. Let's see. I think we should build something here. Mm. We have 525. What can we build? What can we build? Maybe we can build a supply ship. Should we build the supply ship? Then we could possibly strike out at Altenzal. Hmm. It'll take three weeks and one day to build it. Let's go ahead and build it. So this is our cargo ship. It's a pretty cheap and efficient ship. We'll call it the... Hmm, the Lifeline. All right. Okay. Ah, that is that is too bad about our rep. All right, well, we learned a lesson. And let us see. The rooster is ready to take on the bandits, so we'll send the rooster to the bandits. Uh, the revenge is on its way to the turtle doves. Okay. Looks like the computer thinks it's a good idea to attack the bandits, so we'll do that for sure. This is really disappointing, because especially the 1.5x. All right, well, we learned something new. All right, we will start. We'll move the revenge above the turtle doves. We'll go with aim fire and let's go ahead and fast forward. The revenge will make this pretty short. Uh, 
Okay. Well, that was easy. Now, what do we got? Oh, 5,000 gold and 50 supplies. Well, that is nice. That is really, really nice and totally worth it. Uh, I don't know if we get Turtle Dove armor. I wonder if we do. Hmm. Let's see. Let's take. Let's bring our ship back to Atterbury. Maybe all the way to. Yeah, let's go to Atterbury. All right. Let's see. Let us. In fact, we have a spy here. Should we recall our spy? Let's go ahead and recall our spy. It's this ship. Okay, the Undertaker. Ceiling of 137. Speed of 51. Looks like they've got muskets. We could probably take them. But do we want to? Or do we want to try to get peace? Let's see if Alton Zal will take peace. Make peace. Let's see if we can make peace. All right, they want, they're okay with a truce with us. Let's see. They won't give us much though for this peace. We can demand tribute. Demand a town? Nope. Can't demand a town. Hmm. Hmm. Let me think about that. All right, who else do we have? All right, we're at war against Dagger Guild. So let's look at Dagger Guild. When an empire breaks a treaty, it causes grievances. The other empire can then need to avoid retaliation when breaking a treaty in turn. Justify retaliation. All right. Well, that does suck. All right. Well, we're just gonna have to, we're just gonna have to figure it out. Let's see if we can make peace with Korak. If we do peace with Korak, what do we get? We can then demand tribute, and we can what else? Receive submission, useful, and receive a hundred. I think this is worth it. This is a partial save on my part. Well, at least we still get the tribute, but. Uh, we're gonna need to rebuild our rip. So let's make this offer. And now we are at peace with Craven and we get, or uh, with Korak and we get the tribute. All right. Let's see. They are much weaker. Let's make offer. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, not a whole lot here. So we'll just do cancel. See, are we at war with anyone else? Peace, peace. Just Alton's all. Hmm. Okay. Let us recall our spy here in New York and send our spy to Alton's all and see what, what we've got here. In the meantime, our supply ship is building and The rooster is on its way to the bandits. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, we can afford a one-way trip to Alton's All. Let's wait for our supply ship. All right, here's our bandits. All right, uh, bandits have no ships and they just have this little hut here. So let's go ahead and move our rooster above the hut. And we will go ahead and go with aim fire. I really like grenadiers. Uh, in terms of early game, they're really useful for taking out stuff like this. I mean, it makes it very easy. Just move to a spot above and then bombs away, throwing grenades out. Here are our guys. Let's look a little closer. Our guys are. Going up and down and throwing some grenades. All right, 
Good work, guys. Good work. Oh. Yeah. This guy needs more ammo. Uh, they all need more ammo. And they're going slow, too. I mean, they're they're aiming carefully. Oh, I heard something. Oh, looks like the, the little hut's on fire. Let's go ahead and speed it up. All right, victory. Okay. We get plus 400, 10 supplies, and 3 rep. Nice. All right, let me pause it really quick. Look at what we're building here. We aren't building anything. We should be building something. Let's see. Uh, should we build another grenadier? Hmm. Yeah, let's build another grenadier. Go ahead and build that. What should we name our grenadier? Let's call it the Black Eye. It's going to give black eyes to, to people. All right, okay. Which means I think our cargo ship is ready. All right, so the lifeline is ready. Let's send it over to Brewster. Uh, let's go ahead and send as much as possible. And let's see. And let's move the rooster up to Brewster. Still disliked. Not great. That was a costly, costly threat. I should have thought about it more before threatening. Or at least a, a costly denial of the uh, ultimatum. Seventy four percent also, although high, it reminds me of uh, XCOM chances. <laughs> at least it wasn't a ninety percent miss or above. All right, let's um, let's see, let's fill up. Let's see if we can fill the boomer up along with the rooster, and they can go to Altenzal. Spy is active, so what's here? Uh, this has a service ceiling of 128. It's got a ballista, which we're not going to worry about. I think we're going to be too high. And the this chaser, I think this is maybe a grenade and muskets. Oh, this is pretty easy. I think we're going to take them. Let's see. Let's view the city. This is muskets mostly. Probably difficult, more difficult for us to take. But you know, I think we can still handle it. Let's go ahead and leave here. Uh, let's go, hmm, we don't have quite enough supplies to make it there and back with two ships, uh, but what I will do, hmm, hmm, we can make it with one, hmm, I don't know if one can take, uh, both the tower and the, uh, and the ship. But I'm willing to try it. I wonder how long until the until we have uh, enough. I'll unpause for now and see. All right, now we have enough. So let's go ahead and send our whole fleet here. Oh, Monopolis has sent the diplomatic delegation. I wonder if we can do the same. Let's see. We have four months and four days. Okay. We'll go ahead and accept that. And we'll go ahead and send the fleet to Altenzal. Yeah, let's do it. The black eye is ready. Let's go ahead and move it over. Should we build another ship? Hmm, Dagger Gills sent another diplomatic delegation. I'll take it. Should we build another ship? Hmm. I think I'm going to wait for now. Uh, let's see. Gentle takeover, gentle takeover. Explosives are still three months and 17 days away. Still disliked. 
I wonder what our rep needs to be to be normal again. Hmm. Do a quick look at our empire. Fleet maintenance. It's a little high, 60. And defense and tribute received. Okay. Defenses maintenance. Hmm. <clears throat> Black eyes here. They still just have the chaser. I wonder where these guys are going. They're going to Thulu. Hmm. I think we might be able to beat them there. All right, let's go. Let's take out Altenzal. Uh, let us see. We'll fight manually. We'll reserve the cargo ship. Debating whether to reserve this as well. Let's see if we can just take uh, both here. Hmm. No, we'll start. This we will move immediately to above the tower. And they'll go aimed. We'll take direct control of the rooster. And we are going to go ahead and just, I think we'll go a little higher on ourselves. And we are doing some good work against Chaser here. One thing I wish is I wish we could get rid of this like um, little panel here so I can see I can see what's behind it. I can see the chaser right behind it. That would be nice. All right, let's see. like dipping down in height just so that we can sort of see what we're shooting Let's see okay we are close aim we need to go a little closer do a little more damage. All right. Chaser is down. Looks like the tower is also. Let's see if we can. Um, Chaser's down for the count. Now we'll go up. We have 37 ammo, so we might just have just enough. We'll drop a little bit here. Let's go out, relinquish. This guy, they are at 54. We'll move them down to maybe to here. And then these guys will direct control. And it looks like we're about to lose our ta dust tank. All right. All right, and that is Altenzal. 
Boomer didn't take any damage. Rooster, though, took a little damage. We may need to send it back. Lifeline is fine. Okay. We'll do a gentle takeover. Pause. These guys are going to get to Tulu in one month and seven days. Well, why don't we bring, why don't we send the boomer to Tulu? He'll get there in a week. So I think we're in good shape there. Let's go ahead and send the black eye to Altenzal. I think we're going to need to build another ship. Let's build another Grenadier. Yeah, let's build another Grenadier. We'll call it the Raider. Or maybe the White Raider. Yeah, the White Raider. Okay. We still have so much cash. It's nice to have a lot of cash. All right, let's see. Got a gentle takeover. I'm sending the rooster up to Thulu. Although I thought I was going to send, hold on. All right, we're sending, yeah, the boomer to Thulu. All right, uh, we are about a couple minutes away. I think uh, we will go ahead and uh, end this episode here. Uh, Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this content, please hit the like button, comment, or subscribe. Uh, in the next episode, I think we are probably going to take Thulu, and um, or maybe we'll do a redesign of the uh, Pale Mare. Um, but uh, if you, uh, so we'll see you in the next episode, and keep on gaming.